What's up my cool dudes, I am Dylan Dude, and welcome to another tag video. This time we're going to be talking about my team for Pokemon Sun and Moon. Now guys, I am not going to be doing a Let's Play on Sun and Moon because, well, everyone else will be doing it and, yeah. But anyway, I figured I'd come, talk a, I'd come to you guys, talk about my team and uh, what I want to use in Sun and Moon, and then I'll tag three other people to go ahead and do this, to help go ahead and continue to tag. Without further ado, let's get started. Okay, to start things off at the beginning of every Pokemon journey, you always pick that starter Pokemon. Most people box it, most people keep, some people keep it around. Well, some do either raw, but anyway, my starter is going to be Primarina. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. Ah, oh, D-Dude, it's design, it's terrible. Come on, man, Rowlet's a better starter. Yes, yes, I know you're all thinking that. <coughs> anyway, I will... Honestly, ever since Poplio was revealed, I have been a huge Poplio fan from day one. I'm not too big of a fan on Brioni. I'm more of a fan on Toracad in the foot and middle stages. And uh, same with, um, what's it called? Incineroar. But I've been a um, Poplio fan since day one, so I figured why not see a Fruity Deer. And besides, it's got that water and fairy typing, which really does wonder, which is a brand new typing, unique to Prima Arena so far. And we will, well, I'm expecting that we will see many great things. It also, it gets sparkling Aria, which, uh, it gets this move called sparkling Aria, which heals the burn of any targeted strikes. But honestly, I am so, I'm actually a fan of Primarina's design. It's kind of, it's based on a I'm pretty sure it's based on a siren, which is a I believe is a mythological creature. If uh, you hear its voice, you get lured and it, they pretty much kill you. So yeah. Oh man, it's uh, it's uh, design-wise I, I love it. Anyway, that uh, Look, my opinions are probably not the best, but, uh, well, well, anyway, next Pokemon. Okay, starting with, with the number two slot, we have Vikavolt. Now, just like, um, Prima, now, unlike Prima Arena, how I've only liked the first and last forms, I have been on the Vikavolt train since day one. Vika, when as soon as Vika Vault came out, I'm just no. As soon as um we got Grubbin, I was just like, oh great, another weak bug type Pokemon. If you get Charger Bug, okay, this looks interesting. Then we get Vika Vault, and I was pretty much like, well, I had a massive freak out. It was something close to being, oh my gosh, that is so amazing. Anyway, Vika Vault is a bug and electric type. Only caught uh, same typing as Galvantula, but it is so damn awesome. It seriously, who would not want those razor? But I know a lot of people are impressed with Vika Volt's design. Now, um, it actually gets the ability to levitate, which stops this ground immunity, so you only really have to worry about all those fighting, all those weaknesses like. Rock, um, fire, um, let's see, rock, fire, flying, actually it's neutral to flying, so rock and fire are you really your only weaknesses. But, yeah, this is actually one, uh, I swear this is in the running for my favorite Pokemon for Gen 7. What kind, what don't you love about Vikavolt, um, I honestly hope this thing has a decent use in competitive. Pro hopefully, probably not sticky weather like its counterpart, like um, Galvantula. 
But hey, if we can get some offensive, if we can get an offensive monster, I'd be happy. I bet you all saw this coming. Oh yeah, he's Australian. He's so gonna use the koala Pokemon. And to all of you who said that, you are right. I love Kamala. Now, oh, it's just like you new koala. I just want to pet him. And seriously, we rarely have. I de we don't have a lot of um koala based Pokemon. I mean, Australian based Pokemon. Really, closest thing we have is Kang. Kangaskhan, and that's supposed kind of supposed to be a kangaroo, but it looks nothing at all. Anyway, Kamala is pretty much the Australian Pokemon, and I love its design. I, fr I, this was another Pokemon that I had a massive freak out about. Anyway, Kamala, Kamala is a pure normal type, which is actually kind of. Well, we all know what um slacking's like, so yeah. Anyway, unlike slacking, however, it, and it gets in a new ability called comatose. Basically, comatose uh, keeps it permanently asleep, so it can't get poisoned, it can't get par paralyzed, can't get burned. So you can just uh, really just have this thing sleep and spam sleep talk all the time. Uh, sleep talk spamming. Sleep talk. <laughs> Honestly, I can think of this Pokemon being very high in the Smogon tiers, and I am definitely going to be using it. It's so cute and fluffy, and those beaky, and those beakies, and the beak black and nose. It's so cute. Okay, this. Will obviously tell you which version I'm getting. I'm getting Pokemon Moon, and my next Pokemon is going to be Lichen Rock. Now, honestly, what you see in Lichen Rock? It's a Rock type. It's a Rock type. It does not look like a Rock type. It's pure Rock type. It looks nothing like a Rock type. It looks more like a Dark type Pokemon. But what the hey? Who's one to judge? I'm not one to judge. Anyway. But the midnight, as much as I love the day form, I love the midnight form a lot more. Sure, day form gets a cell rock. But midnight form just looks so damn evil. <laughs> it looks like he's going to conquer the world. Anyway, he gets keen eye and vital spirit. Vital spirit is most likely the best ability to use with a lightning rock. And... It's if it do doesn't feel a detrust with its trainer, it won't agree with them. So, trainers, yeah, when you're using Lycan Rock, don't make it angry. Don't give it stupid orders, like use tackle on a ghost type. I mean, who does? I know a few people who do that. Probably just a misclick, but what the. I want to judge. It gets unlike it gets an ex um, form exclusive move, which is counter. I would have preferred like a new. Honestly, I would have preferred a new move where it's just a whole brand new move, like a cell rock. Maybe this one could be like the opposite, because um, daylight can rock as priority. Um, maybe this one could get like a negative six rock type attack that kind of like Dragon Tail. But anyway, I love Rock. I love Lycan Rock Midnight Ball. And let's face it, Rock Ruff is so adorable. Okay, I have seen a f quite a few t of these tag videos, and I honestly have only seen one person want to, to use Wishy Washy. Now, that honestly, I get kind of why it starts off as a little useless fish thing. But hey, school form is a very threatening thing. School form makes Gyarados run in fear. Now, my question is to everyone. If something as scary as a Gyarados is afraid of wishy-washy school form. Yeah, we're pretty much, yeah, we should probably be, we should probably take Gyarados' warning and get the hell out of there. 
And on top of that, it actually kind of looks like a submarine. See that top fin up? See that top fin about? Top fin? That looks like, um, what's it called? Um, that looks like that radar thing for the, for a submarine. The back kind of looks like a back propeller and, um, it honestly looks super duper amazing in school form, but honestly, I same with um Vikavolt. I've been on the wishy washy train all the, ever since school wishy washy was announced. I'm just like, yeah, this can't. When I saw little wishy washy, I was just yeah, this can't be it. It's a big fish. Oh my, yeah, really, really big fish. I really love wishy what Blue's my favorite color. It's a massive fish. It makes Gyarados run in fear, so... <laughs> What's not to love? Okay, the final Pokemon I've taken and interested and want to use on my Pokemon Sun and Moon team is Tortinator. Now, Tortinator is... When I first saw this thing, I was like, oh my gosh, it's a fire type. It's a giant fire kappa. And honestly, it has, it's got an amazing typing. Fire and Dragon, only seen once before by Reshiram, the vast white Pokemon itself. Now, Tortinator is a, it's gets a unique move called Shell Trap, which I guess is kind of like Counter, because the Shell Trap, it sets up a trap at the beginning of the turn, and if Tortinator is hit by a physical attack during the turn, Shell Trap d just tr triggers an explosion that will deal damage, more damage to your opponent. Now, I love the concept of Tortinator. Actually, I'm not. I'm guessing it's like a f giant. I'm guessing it's like a Kappa. But if you don't know, Kappas are in mythical in mythology are pretty much. Okay, so pretty much they're kind of like frog turtle things. They have plates of water on their head. If that plate dries out, they'll pretty much they'll pretty much lose all their powers. But a, a Tortinator is kind of like the reverse of a Kappa. Instead of water, he's fire, and he's he's actually a Pokemon that I'd love to use. He's kind of like the Drudigan of Gen Seven, but Hey, Dragon's power. Uh, this thing looks like it's gonna be good as well. Honestly, guys, Alola had so many different Pokemon that I could not make a set uh, that I wanted to use these six. But I also thought I'd make some honorable mentions that almost made it onto the list. Now, these Pokemon I have, I'm also a massive fan of. I like their design. I like their typing, like their abilities, but honestly, I prefer to use these Pokemon a lot more. But I will definitely be trying to use. I will definitely be breeding for a lot of them. So anyway, these Pokemon are Jang Mo. No, that's the first one. Kamoa, Palosand, Sand, Crab Roller, and Salandit. Now, um. What's his name? Kamoa is actually a dragon and fighting type Pokemon, and I saw this funny video by the King Nappy himself, where him and a bunch of other PokeTubers got together and made a made a video on why Kamoa is great. And they're right that those scales. Some people say, oh, the second form looks a lot better. The second form's this. The second form's that. But I love the look of Kamoa. I love the look, I love the typing. Sure, it's gonna be taking hyper voices, but hey, if this thing got. But hey, this thing could probably. This thing could, could probably give us a, um. What's it called? Probably dish back a poison jab or a dunk shot if you run something like a focus sash. It, it is overall a pretty amazing Pokemon. Um, Power Sand, I actually love the design. Of Palisand, no, no, this isn't Palisand, is it? Um, yeah, this is Palisand. Sandy Gas is the pre-evolved form. 
Um, Palestine is a ghost and a just ground type, just like Golok. A palisade is a sandcastle that has come alive. This is a living, talk, breathing sandcastle. <laughs> oh, I just love the design. They've actually got some pretty funny fan art on the Pokemon site of Palosand trying to suck the life out of a Pikachu, which is pretty funny. Um, next up, Crab Roar. Honestly, the it's a I love the design of Crab Roller, but um, honestly, the one thing that stopped it from getting on the list was pretty much I loved the design of the other Pokemon a lot more. The design was the only thing that was stopping it from getting on the list, and hopefully, Crab Roller gets an evolved form because. That would be amazing. Hopefully, give it somebody. I believe the ability they gave it is Iron Fist. So hopefully, it gets like Mark Punch, Drain Punch, um, what the Elemental Punches, you know, Fire Punch, Ice Punch, Thunder Punch, Bullet Punch for priority. Even that would be amazing. So I could de also definitely see it using Knock Off. But anyway, the final honorable mention is actually Salandit. Now, Salandit, I absolutely love Salandit. I know it's getting a vault form by the Chinese leaks. Ooh, spoilers. Anyway, no, not, uh, who cares? You guys know what I mean. Anyway, it's a fire and poison type with an ability called Corrosion, which pretty much will allow Salandit to poison steel and other poison type Pokemon, which is something brand new because, let's face it, in the... Meta game, we can't poison Gengar, we can't poison, um, what's a steel type Pokemon that people have trouble getting? Bronzong, I know Bronzong was a huge mon at in VGC this year, and it was very difficult to get around. So, a Pokemon like Solander having Corrosion could definitely be vi will definitely help counter Bronzong in the meta game. Okay guys, that'll just about do it for this video, but first I have to tag three more people to go ahead and make a ta this attack video of their own, and those people are going to be Kinder, Cameron, and Stealthy. Now, go I know um, Kinder's planning to do a blinded Nuzlocke, but hey Kinder, if you if you don't want to, even if you just want to do it, like, if you, like, do it, make a team as if you were actually going to use the Pokemon that uh that uh that you would want to use in your in game team. I'd be happy to see that. I'm sure a lot of people would. But anyway guys that is going to wrap up the video. If you guys enjoyed this video, my even though my commentary was even though my opinions were more design based than anything else. But guys, if you like this video, could you please smash that like button down below? Tell me what six Pokemon you'd want to use in your game in game team when Pokemon Sun and Moon come out. And uh, I guess I'll get out of here. And so when, until next time, guys, stay frosty.